Hey guys, I'm Punkers Rob, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be discussing the epic showdown between Meta and Twitter. That's right, we got two heavyweights going after each other like a boxing match we've never seen. And trust me, you're to pay for this one. We're talking about Mark Zuckerberg versus Elon Musk, two of the biggest visionaries in tech in the last 10 years, arguably. They're going head to head with this latest app of Threads versus Twitter, and man, it is a fascinating one. The legal issues are already un beginning to unravel. Let's jump into it. So if you haven't already heard, Threads is a brand new social media app that's out that is a direct competitor to Twitter. If you haven't created a, a login yet or if you haven't created a user yet, it's really interesting. It's actually tied to your Instagram account. Once you log in, you need to have an Instagram account. And if you do, now it'll ask you actually if you want to add all your Instagram friends. Now that could be massive, right? You have all these Instagram people you've potentially been communicating with over the years and now all of them are going to be connected to you through threads. So all of a sudden, they've got massive user growth in a matter of weeks. And don't think that Twitter is sitting on this. Twitter is living. Elon Musk has already taken some unique steps that didn't quite make sense until we look at them in hindsight. One of them is that he's actually limited the amount of tweets you can view in one day. This, he said, is to prevent data scraping, but it's most likely a response to threads because he thinks that threads is actually scraping the data and taking information from Twitter. And it looks like it's actually having an impact because the amount of users that have been accessing Twitter over the last week or two has actually declined substantially. And it's interesting to see that this is exactly correlated with the rise and user growth of threads. Well, you may be asking, hey, you know, Punkage, I'm going to you for legal insight. What are you telling me? I, this is all tech news I can read about. Well, tech and law go hand in hand. And what's happening now is that Twitter has actually called out its army of lawyers and said, hey, you've got to stop this right now. They've sent a cease and desist to Meta and said that, hey, you are scraping our data and you are stealing our trade secrets. You have taken people from Twitter to Meta and those people are working on threads, using our trade secrets, using our proprietary information to compete with us and that is not okay. But Meta responded by saying, yeah, sure, we have people from Twitter, we have people from Google, we have people from Apple, we have people from all these different tech companies. This is normal for our industry. People go from one large company to another all the time. While we have people from Twitter, no one who is affiliated with Twitter work directly on specific elements of scraping or API that you are alleging. Therefore, your allegations are bunk. And <laughs> Twitter, funny enough, I uh, came out with a succinct and elaborate uh, legal argument by responding with a poop emoji. So, gargantuan forces are at war all of a sudden, and it looks like we're going to be here on the sidelines, you know, eating our popcorn, watching what happens. But the good thing is that competition is good for consumers, and I believe that we are going to benefit at the end of the day by having a much better social media app. I know for one, personally, I felt that Twitter has gone down uh, in quality over the last uh, the last few months and, and years. And actually this weekend, I deleted it from my phone. I don't have any financial interest in Meta or, or Twitter, but I do know that I don't love the negativity and the vitriol that is on Twitter. And if there's another space that can compete and that has a much more friendly environment and that can share more positive things, I'm all for it. So I've joined Threads. I'm on Team Thread right now, and I'm going to see what happens. But the legal implications are interesting and Twitter is not backing down. Twitter is saying that, hey, you have stolen our information and we are going to come after you. Let's see what happens because what we know at the end of the day is people are going to make the most money out of this and are probably the lawyers because it's going to be one massive company with a massive legal department against another company with a massive legal department and massive law firms behind it and they're going to be duking it out over years and who knows, we may have a couple million dollar verdict or you know maybe tens of millions, a hundred millions, but probably a drop in the bucket for these two companies and they're going to continue to go on their ways and let's see if Twitter can you know can last this long because honestly their valuation has dropped probably in, in half over the last two years since Elon Musk took over so what happens next is going to be a big question mark for the future of Twitter and how they respond to what Meta is doing and how they've built out this new competitor. It's important to know that this is not the first time these issues have happened in the, in the tech industry. There's a famous battle between Google and Uber uh, in 2018 regarding this, the stolen trade secrets for the autonomous driving vehicles. It was a massive case where an engineer from Google went to Uber and took all these documents with them. In that case, they found that that person took over 10,000 documents uh, related to proprietary information that Google had developed over the years to uh, support their autonomous driving program. And this person essentially took them all and took them over to, uh, to Uber to compete with Google. And in that case, the court found in favor of Google. Um, I believe it's still being appealed and still being litigated, but the sanctions were serious. And the person who actually stole that information is facing criminal uh, sanctions as well, uh, facing 
facing jail time. It's a serious violation when you treat and steal trade secrets from a company. So please make sure when you leave a company that you do not take any trade secrets with you, do not take any proprietary information. Usually you sign an NDA. These companies are also protected by the uh, Trade Secrets Act. So there's a lot of protections for companies when it comes to developing IP. And if you have a question, you should usually consult a lawyer because the violations and the cost of litigation could be very high. Results could be quite significant if you're found to have violated the trade secrets of a company. This case and others that are pending right now will set precedent for how we look at trade secret violations in the future. We'll be keeping a close eye on all this and future developments and we'll be sure to report back. So now it turns to you. What are your thoughts on this clash between Meta and Twitter? Is it good? Is it bad? What do you think about it in the grand scheme of things in terms of the development of technology? Do you believe it supports competition or do you believe these trade secret laws actually hinder competition? Do you think there's a misappropriation of trade secrets? I know it's difficult to tell from our perspective, but Looking at the apps, looking at how they function, do you see a potential that there was a misappropriation of certain trade secrets related to these two apps? Or do you feel that Meta maybe just created something that's similar and the concept of having a continuous news flow uh, along with commenting isn't something that's so novel that should be protected? Please let us know your opinions and comments below. Your likes, your follows, your subscribes are invaluable to us. It helps, keeps us going and lets us know what kind of content you want to see in the future so we can bring you the latest news on legal and technology developments. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll be coming out with new videos soon enough. Thank you for watching today's video. We really appreciate it. Your support means the world to us. If you want to see more, if you want to hear more, please leave a comment, a like, and we'll make sure to reach out and hopefully be in touch. Stay tuned and stay informed.